Sick of getting blisters? Stop slipping and just be comfortable with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Great fit, great comfort, lots of grip, and an even better price. Available now at puregripsocks.com. I'd venture to guess that Cristiano Ronaldo has had more signature colorways than any player in football boot history, and now he has another from New Balance. I mean, somewhat unofficially, but you'll see what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the special edition Bukayo Saka 7 New Balance Furon V7 Pro. Football boots wear the number seven, is the main design inspiration behind all the little details you'll find on this white and kind of neon orangish pink color, but also Saka being a player that not only wears the number seven, but the meaning behind his choice to wear number seven is kind of something that New Balance has tiptoed around in regards to this particular boot. And that is that Saka has publicly said that his idol growing up was Cristiano Ronaldo, AKA CR7. You can't tell me that seeing these two boots side by side isn't pretty cool. And I really want to applaud New Balance for seemingly working more closely with their signature athletes than what we see from other brands. And that I really do believe that Saka himself had quite the say in not just the final design itself, but all the little details that have been incorporated into this boot. And you can see there's a bunch of symbols scattered throughout. We're not gonna go over every single one. You can make out the majority of them in this video and probably figure it out for yourself. However, if you wanna read the press release for this particular colorway, there are so many significant elements to the number seven as it relates to Saka himself. However, the tie to Cristiano Ronaldo being his idol is not one that you'll find mentioned, but very clearly it has to be a big reason why the number seven is so important to him. Boots that, by the way, if you are interested in a pair for yourself, you can pick them up below their normal retail price by way of some exclusive SR4U coupon codes via the first link down below. With one of my favorite elements of this particular colorway is that up close, there's obviously a bunch of different symbols and just a lot happening on the white base but from a distance those symbols kind of blend into the white and they just end up looking like a clean pair of football boots with just the New Balance branding kind of being the big standout. I also love the simplicity of the graphic on the sole plate, just having the number seven. And you can see as the light reflects, it has this really cool kind of glitter effect to the plastic itself. I also really like the BS7 logo on the insole, which again is kind of like an indirect mini tribute to the classic CR7 branding. Although I will say, that his signature logo with New Balance is a little bit hard to read. If you didn't know that that was a B and that was an S that's supposed to look a little bit like a lightning bolt, I'm not sure that you can really make heads or tails of what's happening here. As for the performance side of the Furon V7 Pro, these are extremely underrated in the speed category, as I've been talking about basically since they first released. And if you want more detail on how these stack up against the competition. I'm actually gonna leave a little pop-up on screen to a video where I compare and rank all of the current speed boots available in late 2023. So if you're interested in learning which speed boot might be the best for you, regardless of what's popular amongst the majority, definitely check that out because these should be on your list of consideration, especially if you want something with a knitted upper. On feet, aside from looking great, at least in my opinion, they also feel great. I would compare the shaping of the Furon V7 Pro to something along the lines of a Nike Mercurial Vapor. It fits your foot very, very closely. And what's so unique about the Furon compared to just about every other speed boot is this super offset lacing system where it's really on the outside of your foot, leaving the area to strike the ball as well as on the inside of the foot, completely free of any laces, but you still have great adjustability and honestly, fantastic lockdown. The boots feel very secure and responsive on your feet. Not to mention they are some of the lightest speed boots on the market and the sole plate and stud pattern is pretty well as aggressive as just about anything. For the price, you really are gonna have a hard time finding anything that performs quite as well. From a fit and width perspective, the signature colorways only come in one width option, which is the regular width. But if you go for some of the regular colorway pack options, you can actually get them in regular as well as wide fit. So if you do need that little bit of extra width and volume, that is an option with New Balance top end models, something that you won't find 
from any other brand. Although I would say for the vast majority, the regular fit variation should work out quite nicely. Nonetheless, when it comes to sizing, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you are looking to get a pair for yourself, even if you've never worn New Balance boots before, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. But there you have it, the seven Bukayo Saka New Balance Furon V7 Pro, an indirect CR7 tribute. Let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.